Welcome to MEI Numerical Methods uh, Numerical Differentiation. In this video we're going to be looking at the Central Difference Method. Now this is effectively an improved version of the Forward Difference Method so that if we're interested in finding the an estimate of the derivative at, uh, at that point there then call that P say then we're now going to consider points either side of P, so call them Q1 and Q2, and we're going to be using the, uh, the line between Q1 and Q2 as an approximation to the, the tangent line that we're interested in, but um, as we can see here, the, the slope of Q1, Q2 is a a lot closer to the slope of the tangent line than we had in the uh, the previous uh, we, we saw in the previous video with the forward difference method, and so this is generally the, the case for for most functions. So as for the forward difference method, the um, the distance up is going to be in this case is going to be f of x plus h minus f of x minus h. So that's just the distance from there to there and of course now we've got a distance so along of 2h from there to there. And uh, we can uh, see what happens if we use um, f of x equals sine x again. So with the same value of h of 0.1 we get value of 0 0.53940 to five decimal places and that's uh, a lot closer to uh, cos of one uh, than we had previously with the forward difference method. And we can repeat the exercise for smaller values of h and you might like to uh, try this on a, a spreadsheet uh, if you want to pause the video. So here we have a comparison between the the values that we had last time in the previous video for the forward difference method and and then the ones for the central difference method and we can see that uh, the central difference method uh, converges more quickly than the forward difference method. Now we'll be considering uh, uh, the convergence of these two methods in later videos, but uh, for the moment that's, that's everything on uh, numerical differentiation.